Hi guys, it's Abby here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another Black Friday haul. I suppose this is part two. No, I haven't bought many items from Alphaly Black Friday sale. A lot of stuff I got is for my husband's Christmas presents. I only got three things for myself, but I am going to include the purchases I made before Black Friday sale and also the update on their revival are six leggings there is one item that i'm absolutely not a fan of i can almost say i hate it but we'll get into it our first thing i want to talk about is the revival r6 leggings i got it in ultraviolet and blue and Popo Noah, I actually got the back up here the same exact color and also the formula red. If you remember, I made a review about the Revival R6 before when it first came out. I got it in this exact color, but I got it in a size small. At the time when I first put it on, I like how it fits on the waist, but after like three washes, after three wears, it stretched out really, really bad, sort of squat down. It gives a noise, which I hate. I like being held in, but after three wears, it stretched out really bad. So I tried this exact color in the size extra small. Now, this size is so small, it fits like tight in the first wears, but after a few times, it stretched out again. Now it fits me nicely. I like it how it fits. I got every other colors in the size extra small ultraviolet and blue and purple noir they fit exactly the same the fabric feels exactly the same and the length also the almost the exact same except that the blue is like half an inch longer than the others this one though this one feels different fabric wise and length wise fits wise in general it's thinner and denser in a way this one we all read i like the color however they're just like way too long this way it this much longer than all the other colors i had to roll this up the other problem that i have with the r6 leggings this is not just one faulty pair okay this happens to all other pairs now i'm going to show you this color the fraying in the seams on the inside of it it's terrible you won't expect this from this price okay look at this what do i do with this yeah that for example and this blue color also the same but on the outside of it the seams start to fray hope you can see just like that it's fraying on the outside this is on the hip. other thing that i have a problem with with this blue color let me just say i never ever have a legging ripped on me before i don't wear long nails never ever but this is what i got from wearing this i don't know how i got this look you see that this is like in the back of this um crotch gusset if it ripped my butt i'm really scared to wear this one because that cold but i love the color i love the fit in general but the quality the quality of it is questionable all right that's the r6 next thing i got is this um surface pocket shorts in red this originally 46 dollars they launched in august i believe so i only got this shorts because at the time i didn't like anything so i got this shorts for 46 and add six dollars to that for shipping for this shorts basically 52 dollars i love the fabric i love the color i actually prefer the formula red over this color i love the fit in general, there's a seamless waistband. There is no elastic band at the top. I love how it cuts my waist. They didn't say how long the inseam is on the website, but I believe it is three inch long. Maybe if it's like an inch longer, it would be perfect. Maybe even half an inch longer, it would be perfect. Other than that, I love it. It's flattering in general. It's a like a rubber logo in the back. Let's talk about this top that I have on right now. It's a ultra soft keyhole top i got it in black and also in white and red all these are in a size small these originally cost 36 us dollars i got them in a sale section maybe a month ago before black friday sale 
I got it for $25.20 each. These are made of nylon spandex material. It's 83% nylon and 17% spandex. It does say it's nylon spandex, but it feels like a rayon spandex. However, it's not the kind of fabric that I would wear to the gym. That's just me though. I'm used to wearing like a seamless top. I've seen it all over Instagram. I have wanted it for a very long time. Finally got it in three colors. Uh, the logo in the back is just like a raised rubber logo. It doesn't have the thumb holes or anything. It's just a regular top. I will probably wear it like a regular top, like I said. It's not completely crop top. It's not too crop. It comes to my belly button. I would say it's like a semi crop. Love this color. Love this color. White is always my favorite. Okay, now moving on to something that I absolutely hate. I can say that pretty much. I hate it. This wrap around bra. Originally, I believe it was like 36 US dollars. I don't know. I got it from a sales section for $18. I got it in white and in black. Why I hate it. What is this? How do you do with this? What is going on? This is the most difficult bra to put on. I can't. I just, I can't. The black one. I sewn the back of it like this because like it's impossible for me to put it on so I did sew them together and it's still very complicated. It will look better like this. Okay. Okay. Now it's like, now you can see that. It does have adjustable strap and three, four straps in the back. It's very strappy. Maybe if you make it like this like actual bra maybe you if you want to add class in the back do it but makes it like actual bra sew them together and just put it on you know it's impossible to me to put this on i had to sew them together like this without sewing it's like kind of like pulling up in the back and it's just unflattering I know, I know a lot of people love this bra. I saw it on Instagram and a lot of people wearing it and it looks fantastic on them. It's just too difficult, too much of a word. Why makes my life more difficult? So I would probably sell these. It's really nice logo as always. It's like a wolf in the back like that. It's race rubber logo. I have like a class this, like this. Oh, I forgot to mention those bra this thing are in a size small it does have removable cups small next thing we're going to talk about the things that i absolutely absolutely love is the arrow bra i got it in white and pink i have this when it first launched both in a size small this is a size small i had a problem with the white it did have a black smudge in the back of it so i contacted them so they were so generous to give me 10 percent off and they were sent me a replacement or a refund. Well, they were basically telling me to wash it, but if I decide to wash it, I can't return it. So I didn't want to risk it and it's a white bra. I returned it and they gave me a refund with a 10% discount code. Very generous of them. Yeah, and I decided to return the white one in a small and keep this one also in a small. Now the white one runs really, really big. This one fits just fine to me. It doesn't give me much support. Not that I need much support, but it fits just fine. It doesn't look baggy. It works for me. So I decided to order another one in white, same exact color. This time doesn't have a black smudge in the back. It fits much better than the small one. This is a size extra small. It is very, very stretchy. It's absolutely amazing. It's everything that I want in a bra. The back is just a simple razor back with a keyhole right here. And the logo on the outside, finally, athlete, finally. They finally put their logo in the back. What's the point of having logo on the inside? It's stitch in. It's not gonna go anywhere when you wash it love 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 this bra we're gonna move on to the black friday items it's also i got another arrow bras in black and white in a size extra small it's the same exact one it's the arrow bra just in black no i said i said white it's gray it's gray and black in a size extra small oh god i love the fabric 
the fabric is super nice you guys super super nice this is a black oh i love it i got to mention the arrow bra that i got from the launch they were originally 40 dollars now i got it from black friday sale they had they had it for 28 dollars each it's worth it okay the arrow bra came out in Five different colors. I got all four colors except the vivid blue. I don't know what to pair with it other than black leggings. So Last but not least, I got Surface Path leggings in violet color. I like their shorts. This is the Surface Pocket in shorts. Size small. I also got the Surface Path leggings in a small. This is almost like a moth. I would say it's more like a moth color, like a darker moth color. Call it violet. I thought violet is purple. I don't mind. I mean, it's not a big deal to me. It's soft and stretchy. I love it. Seems to be long. I'm guessing it's like this longer than my usual. I have to roll it up. Good quality. I forgot the original price. I believe it's over $60. Now, on the sale, I got it for $20. It does have slightly dip in the back to accentuate your glutes. Two pockets on the side. Very, very high-waisted. Not too much details. The logo is, as usual, it's a rubber race logo. For $22, I think this is absolutely a steal. But what about this full price? Mm, mm. Now that I start looking at this pair, it's... You guys. Why does it feel like there's a pilling, like it's been worn? I don't know how you, can you? I hope the camera picked up this, like a slightly pilling. Why does it feel like it's been worn? Now this one didn't come with the tag. It doesn't have like a tag hanging or anything. This is how it came in, in, the, in the back. That's it, there is no tag. So I don't know if this been worn. It just looks like it's been worn. It does have a slightly peeling. Yeah, fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's twenty-two dollars like games. I would be pissed if I got this full price. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, you guys. That wraps up today's video. Please hit that like button and leave a comment down below because that really, really support my channel. Thanks everyone for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your holiday too. Bye.